Army of the Ohio, Wikipedia article audio. The Army of the Ohio was the name of two Union armies in the American Civil War. The first army became the Army of the Cumberland and the second army was created in 1863. General Orders No. 97 appointed Madge. Gen. Don Carlos Buell to command the Department of the Ohio. All the forces of the department were then organized into the Army of the Ohio, with Buell in command. Early in 1862, the Army fought its first battle at Mill Springs, although only the 1st Division, commanded by Brig. Gen. George H. Thomas, was engaged. The whole army marched to reinforce Grant S. Army of the Tennessee at the Battle of Shiloh. Buell was replaced as commander of the Department of the Ohio by Brig. Gen. Horatio G. Wright in August 1862, but because of Wright's junior rank, Madge. Gen. Henry W. Halleck ordered Thomas to replace Wright in command. However, Thomas foresaw a major battle and felt it unwise to change an army commander on the eve of battle. Thus Buell remained in command of the army and Thomas was made as second in command. The battle Thomas foresaw occurred on October 8, 1862, west of Perryville, Kentucky. Confederate General Braxton Bragg had marched into Kentucky to recruit soldiers and take the state from the Union. The full force of Buell's command was gathering when Bragg attacked. Known as the Battle of Perryville, or the Battle of Chaplin Hills, casualties were very high on both sides. Union casualties totaled 4,276. Confederate casualties were 3,401. Although Union losses were higher, Bragg withdrew from Kentucky when the fighting was over, and therefore Perryville is considered a strategic victory for the Union. Buell was subsequently relieved of all field command. Madge. Gen. William S. Rosecrans was appointed to command of the Army of Ohio. He was also appointed to command of the Department of the Cumberland and subsequently renamed his forces the Army of the Cumberland. On March 25, 1863, Madge. Gen. Ambrose Burnside assumed command of the Department of the Ohio headquartered in Cincinnati, Ohio. On March 19, 1863 two divisions of the IX Corps under Madge. Gen. John G. Park had been ordered from Virginia to Burnside's department. On April 27, 1863 the War Department ordered all troops in Kentucky not belonging to IX Corps to be organized into the 23 Corps under the command of Madge. Gen. George L. Hartsuff. By May 1863 Burnside had consolidated the forces of Kentucky into the IX Corps and 23 Corps which he styled the Army of the Ohio. Thus, Burnside became one of the few officers to directly command two completely different armies. The IX Corps was soon transferred to Mississippi in June to participate in the Siege of Vicksburg but was returned to the Army of the Ohio in August. Meanwhile, the new Army of the Ohio 23 Corps repelled Morgan's Ohio raid although the entire army rarely functioned as one complete unit during this campaign. Reunited with the IX Corps and the addition of a cavalry division, Burnside moved to Knoxville, Tennessee. There he defeated the Confederates at the Battle of Fort Sanders in the Knoxville campaign. After the battle, he asked to be relieved of command due to illness. Madge. Gen. John G. Foster replaced Burnside as commander of the Army and Department of the Ohio on December 9. Foster's time in command of the army was short. On February 9, 1864, Madge. Gen. John M. Schofield assumed command of the Department of the Ohio, and then the Army of the Ohio and the 23 Corps in April. During this time the 23 Corps and the Army of the Ohio were synonymous. Schofield led the army during the Atlanta campaign and pursued Confederate LT. Gen. John Bell heard into Tennessee after the fall of Atlanta. At the Battle of Franklin, Schofield inflicted a severe defeat on Hood's army before joining with Madge. Gen. George H. Thomas in the Army of the Cumberland for the Battle of Nashville. On February 9, 1865, Schofield was transferred to command the Department of North Carolina. When Schofield departed to assume departmental command, Madge. Gen. Jacob D. Cox temporarily assumed command of the army. The 23 Corps was ordered to North Carolina and only Cox's division was present for the Battle of Wilmington. It was not until March 1865 that the rest of the 23 Corps landed at New Bern, North Carolina. Upon the arrival of the 23 Corps in its entirety, 
Schofield joined that corps with the X Corps under Madge. Gen. Alfred H. Terry to form the Army of the Ohio. The Army was designated the center wing of Madge. Gen. William T. Sherman S. Army and participated in the final stages of the Carolinas campaign. With the close of the war, the troops were mustered out of military service. A number of post-war reunions were held by various elements of the old Army of the Ohio. Notes 1. Livermore, Thomas L., Numbers and Losses in the American Civil War 1861-1865, New York, 1901, p. 95, cited in McDonough, James Lee, War in Kentucky, University of Tennessee Press, 1994, pages 289-290. ISBN 0-87049-847-9. No, Kenneth W. Perryville, This Grand Havoc of Battle. Lexington, University Press of Kentucky, 2001. ISBN 978-0-8131-2209-0.